Blood presenters, Coach Tommy back. You guys are on the last day of your one-legged transformation. We got the last day. We got the jumping drill set up <coughs> for you. In the previous video, you should have been activating the hamstrings. Okay, so today we're gonna go through the drills. So everything that you learn, we're gonna put them together. Your body should be firing right. Your neuromuscular connection should all be there. Hopefully you've done everything correct so far and put in all the reps and sets. So now, kind of the fun part, right? You've tested your jump in the beginning, and then today we're gonna do a bunch of reps, low level reps, and then we'll gear up towards the end for a couple of you know, max effort reps, and then we're gonna test your jump. So, start with something down here, right? We're gonna lay out cones, you can use chalk, whatever you want. That first cone is just my normal step. Okay, and then for my normal step, I'm just adding a shoe. Okay, and then another shoe, and then another shoe. You're going to find, find out, like, you're gonna be pretty far stretched out when, when you get to the end. And today's focus really is on the drop, on the drop down, right? On the drop down through the drive, so we're lowering, we're learning how to lower ourselves better into that, into that jump, okay? So remembering the keys, um, if you remember them, I would you know, try to repeat them with me, accelerate through the jump, right? Tall torso through the takeoff, what, what else we got? <coughs> Drop down the jump, right? We got pole vault the plant, we got ab rotation, and then we got ride the waves, okay? So today really drop down, the last piece that we haven't focused on at all. So this first one, okay, remember we're gonna push off using our soleus, dropping our knee down. And that first one, we're just going to do a little baby jump here. So it's just one step and we're jumping. And so from the front, you know, you wanna push down the knee, get your knee down, let it roll down, and then push, push with your soleus or lower calf and then Okay, remember we're, we're, we're making this, this wave, okay, this, this little arc with our foot. Okay, so on your plant, outside edge of the foot, we're gonna roll and then we're gonna learn how to contract all that thing all at once. So today we're adding it all together. So I'm gonna show you a few quick reps. Okay, so make sure you, you line this up so we're challenging your stride length and, and making yourself accountable to how far you're, you're dropping down and pushing, okay? So there's no way I can get to that cone okay, with a normal stride. I have to, have to push and there will be a brief moment where your both feet will be in the air. Okay? So cone one, drop down a little bit and then make sure we're trying to get that hamstring firing. So right now, dropping down on the left, I'm really, really focused on the left. Okay, push with the left, let's get the hamstring to come up. And then with the right, okay? I don't want, I don't want that loud thud, okay guys? I don't want a gigantic thud. I'm in barefoot shoes, so there's so little protection on my foot, so you have to be really clean with your mechanics, okay? There we go. Okay, push. Arm, okay, get the waves going, okay? So now I'm on the third one, push. And then, so now I'm on the last one. Okay, so step, drive, okay, drop down to drive, okay, push, and then we should get there. Okay, if you're finding yourself flying way too far forward, then your simple correction would be the, the Iverson step up, right? If you are finding yourself not getting there, you didn't drive, you didn't drop down far enough, okay? Get that foot in front, so. Okay, if you notice you're stiff, you're not using your arms, that's the waist. Okay, so if you're, if you're like that, you're not gonna get very high. Okay, and then if you notice when I'm jumping like this, you can see there's a subtle rotation. So you know if you're rotating, if, if you've relaxed and then you've turned, so push. That one, I went too far. Okay, so my hamstring didn't come around quick enough. 
So it's going to be very important for you guys to notice. Okay, make sure you guys put things out on the floor so, so you can track. Ideally, if we're doing this in the gym, I would set it up and then we would be slapping the backboard or grabbing the rim or something like that so we have some type of marker. So, <clears throat> quick review, right? Short step here, okay? Building up, building up, right? Make sure we can do all of those. Let's see if I can show you some left foot one. So those are all my right foot. So here with the left, okay? You want to be able to balance out, balance out your feet, obviously. There we go. Two. Drop down and push. Three. Last one, a little bit farther. A lot of rotation on that one. I didn't like that one. So here we go again. And that one, you probably heard it. Drag that foot, try to try to wheel around, try to drag that foot through the air and whip and spiral up. Okay, let's get one last one. You guys don't gotta watch me. You guys gotta go out there and practice on your own. So here, take one step, drop down through. Woo! All right, man. My one leg jump has completely transformed. There is no way in hell that I thought I would be jumping in barefoot shoes. I was always rocking LeBron 360s because I need the, the padding, the cushion. I've, all, I've always been, you know, a heavy volleyball type jumper. Um, at my strongest, I was deadlifting like 375, squatting 315, leg press with a thousand pounds. <laughs> and I couldn't jump off of one leg. It was always two legs. My one, my one leg jump was, you know, pathetic. So I was able to dunk off of two, but never off of one. Sometimes that would, it would be even hard just to tap the backboard off of one leg. So putting all this together for you guys is basically me sharing all my secrets. So I really, really hope that it helps you guys. Please let me know how I can help, okay? It has literally transformed me. So it, it takes someone to solve their own problem and, and, and know if I have that problem, you guys might be experiencing the same thing. So, as always guys, get to work, and remember to take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.